the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement brings together 55 African Union member states. Alors, la zone de libre échange économique, c'est une chance pour les Africains, c'est une chance pour ceux qui essayent de produire en Afrique, parce que le défi, c'est souvent l'échelle de production. Avoir un marché plus grand permet d'envisager des unités économiques qui produisent à une échelle qui permet d'être compétitif en termes de coût et qui permet de diffuser aisément euh, notre savoir-faire pour le valoriser. The world's largest free trade area in terms of countries will establish a single continental market where goods, services and people can move freely. Standardizing intellectual property laws and international protocols is an essential step towards expanding intra-African trade across the continent, enhancing competitiveness and supporting the economic transformation of Africa. IP laws can help regulate the conditions for the acquisition, maintenance and enforcement of IP rights. The AFRIPI project promotes international agreements in the area of intellectual property rights and is part of the existing cooperation between the EU and Africa. AFRIPI will be able to support the African Union and help bring the benefits of IP to African SMEs. The Joint Africa-EU strategy provides the overarching long-term framework for African-EU relations. Two of the four main pillars of this strategy are directly linked to IP. Investing in people, education, science, technology and skills development. And mobilizing investments for African structural sustainable transformation. AFRIP will give support through the capacity building activities for Africa's regional and national IP offices. For example, by bringing IT innovation to the African IP offices and African SMEs, therefore supporting the African Regional Intellectual Property Organizations or AREPO's mission of fostering creativity and innovation for economic growth and development in Africa. AFRIP improves awareness about the importance of IP in different areas of society, such as young people, SMEs and consumers. It also helps enhance the capacities of the African micro, small and medium enterprises, so they can benefit from the IP system and can generate more value from their products and provides technical assistance to African countries to design SME-friendly IP policies. AFRIPI will also ensure the provision of basic information on IP issues in the targeted countries and regions via the implementation of an online IP platform. This platform will provide expert advice on IPR protection and enforcement. Informative help desk for businesses would certainly help to bring uh, uniformity, clarity, efficiency, consistency, and a better understanding of the um, what is required for people to trade under the AFC FTA, um, which would make it easier for all countries involved to na navigate the system, as the system would be uh, identical across the continent. A spirit of collaboration is central to AFRIPI's work. It will cooperate with organizations that are active in the support of the African Union's strategy on gender equality and women's empowerment and particularly support women entrepreneurs. AFRIPI could help women business owners in Africa improve their activities. Business women have always been a marginalized group in Africa due to cultural values and norms. However, it has been proven over time that women have contributed greatly to the economy in, in most African countries. Therefore, Afri AFRIPI could come up with laws that protect women in business. This could actually be a turning point for women in Africa. In 2017, the African Union adopted the Continental Strategy on Geographical Indications that recognizes the importance of GIs as a tool for use in sustainable rural development and food security. Protection of GIs will enable communities to economically benefit from the unique qualities of agricultural products based on their geographic areas of production. 
That's why AFRIPI supports the implementation of the priority actions identified by the African Union's Continental Strategy for Geographical Indications. This can help protect African GIs like the Kariba bream that has unique characteristics. I think it's it's very important because it's very people can uh, it's very few people can maybe identify uh, the difference between uh, the Kariba bream and other breams uh, without tasting it. So if there's a brain protection, I think it's um, it's quite important. For more information, please visit the Afripi website.